Hey guys, it's the Addy Queen, and in this video, I'm going to be doing another heart hat. This is like my loose sketch for it, which I don't know why I didn't use realistic colors. <laughs> but it's going to be 60 rows for your inside and brim. Um, 40 rows for your brim if you're doing two different colors, but I just did mine all the same color. I started out just casting on normal. Um, I have gotten a very good response with all of my heart hats, so I thought I'd design another one. This was my last heart hat, and I'm kind of playing on the ombre again, just in a little bit of a different way. If you do want to make this hat, it is on my channel, so. I'm going to start out with my darkest blue. I am using four colors total in this. Three blues, and then the color for my brim. So I'm going to start out dark. And actually, what I'm going to do here is cut my brim color and then we're going to do two rows of your first color minding the dark blue and tie this together all nice and neat notice i did not put this in the tensioner i just I don't know, when working on stuff like this where you're switching colors a lot, I don't usually use the tensioner. So that was our second row. So now we're going to fair aisle. And what we're going to do here is we are actually going to take the brim color here. And you're either going to choose even or odd. I'm going to do odd numbers. So we're going to do gray on the odd. And we're just going to fair aisle alternating colors every other stitch this kind of ties in your brim color to your pattern a little bit and makes really cute little hearts So now I'm done with that, I'm going to cut my brim color again, go slow, I'm going to tie that beginning to the end here. That was one row, we're going to do one more. So now we're going to cut away our darkest blue, and I'm going to go in with my medium blue. I'm not really sure what a lot of this yarn is because it's coming out of my stash, but this one's Bernat Super Value. <laughs> um, I bought a lot of yarn off of Facebook Marketplace, so I have a lot of yarn. Like, I don't know where it came from or what it is. So now we're going to do two rows of our medium blue, or whatever color you picked out. There's one, there's two, we're going to tie this to the end of our last color so we don't want anything coming unraveled. And now we're going to fair aisle again. And so you'll see I started out on peg number one with the gray, so as I do my next set of hearts I'm going to start out on peg number one with my contrast color which this time is a dark blue. Sorry, I had to pause the video for a second. I'm just going to do every other row again, like we did with the gray. Also, I am so close to 3,000 subscribers, and all I can say is thank you guys. I really appreciate you subscribing to my channel and inspiring me to make new content and really just pushing me to see what I can do. Um, it means a lot to me that you guys take the time to subscribe to my channel and watch my videos. Alright, so we've come to the end. So I'm going to cut my dark blue contrast, put my color I'm working with in the feeder, and we're doing two rows. And 
I'm gonna cut that. And we're gonna go in with my fourth color, which is my light blue. And I'm gonna take a minute to tie some of these ends together. It doesn't matter what you tie them to, but it is important that you tie them so they don't come undone. I'm also going to tuck up my brim and inside because it's starting to drag the bottom. There we go. Again, we're doing two rows. I have a lot of random little ends there. Now, with our third row, we're going to go back in with our medium blue. And we're going to fair aisle starting on stitch number one. Now, for my beanies, I do 100 rows. So, we are going to switch, like, main colors eight different times because this pattern is five rows. So, um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> I'm really lucky that my Centro has a row counter. So thankful. Okay. Now we're back to the end. So we're going to put our color we're working with now. Whoa. Okay, there we go. In the feeder. We're going to cut our contrast color. I'm going to go like a couple stitches and then tie these and while I'm right here I am going to trim some of this like this is insane it is important that you tie your knots pretty tight that way you don't have gaps in your knitting just a little tip this did not get tied to something so I do have to tie this. Okay. Now our second row, this color. Well now I've used all my colors. So, you may ask, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go back in with my darkest blue, I think. So we're going to cut this, put it here, get my dark blue. Now I am going to tie these two ends together because I noticed that navy one didn't have anything tied to it. And that's a really long tail for no reason. <laughs> Instead of doing my fair aisle with gray, I'm going to go in with this medium blue. Not, I'm sorry, go in with this light blue because that's the color I used previously. See, this pattern isn't that bad to do. It's a lot of repetition. I know they make tools to do fair aisle, but I've always just done it by hand. I find it to be a lot quicker and more efficient, especially when you're switching colors so much. All right, put my dark blue back in the feeder. Tie these together, these three ends, so none of them escape. Now I know I told you to tie your ends tight, but don't tie them so tight that they pucker the fabric because that's also bad. You just gotta find that happy medium. All right, our second row. And with this, I'm officially halfway done with my pattern. I'm at 80 rows, so almost to 100. Now I'm gonna cut my blue. And we're going back in with that medium blue. Okay. 
again doing two rows. Get that tail out of the way. Now that we did two rows, we are going to take our light blue and come back in to do Fair Isle. Gotta get those hearts going. Have you noticed that when I do videos like this, I almost always use blue? I don't know. That's one of my favorite colors, I guess. I just have a lot of yarn that are different shades of blue. So that's what I usually end up experimenting with. And put that back in the feeder. Cut. Again, we're going to tie this nice and tight. I've cut a lot of ends out of this thing. <laughs> All right, two rows. And you can do this pattern on any knitting machine. Um, I'm using my Centro in this video because I haven't used it in a while and my Addy has the start of a blanket on it. So now that I've done my medium blue, we're switching back to light blue. this lots of tying ends today and I did get a little bit of a tucked stitch right here so what I'm gonna do is slowly go backwards making sure to tuck these back on their pegs and we're gonna fix this here we go and when you go backwards, you want to make sure you keep these from coming off their peg as you go back the way you're supposed to. And voila, problem fixed. Alright, that was our second row. I did have to just check. <laughs> so now we're going to do our fair aisle with our previous color. And guess what? We're getting close to the end. Sorry about that. I did briefly have to cut off the video. Um... So now I'm just finishing up my fair aisle. And after I finish the design this way, not this way, this time, I'm going to cut off the video and finish the rest of the knitting because it is pretty repetitive and it probably gets pretty boring to watch me just do the same thing over and over again. And so I'll be back after I finish for our cast off. Okay, so I did just, whoa, sorry about that. I did just finish my last row of my pattern. I'm gonna cut a decently long tail and do a row with nothing. Put this on my yarn needle here. Make sure those two drop the way they should. I didn't leave quite long enough of a tail, but it'll still work for what I need to get done. I'm excited to see how this turns out. The inside looks really pretty, so hopefully it looks good. Getting ready to take this bad boy off the loom. Mm 
Whoa, it already looks so cool. I'm excited to see what it looks like once we shake it out. Overall, this only took me about hmm, maybe a half hour if you count doing the inside. So it's not all that time consuming of a pattern. Pull that through and get my loom out of the way. Let's zoom us in so you can see what we're doing better. So I'm going to pull this out a little bit. And we're just going to tuck the inside where it should go. Cinch it up. Tie a knot. Good. Now we're going to go to the inside here. Pull it tight. Now I am going to trim this way down because that's super long tail. zoom out a little bit. I'm going to take this inside here, fold it up inside our hat. I like to start with the inside tail. Whoa, see that? That is a stitch that didn't catch. Um, I am going to grab a crochet hook and show you how to fix that. Thankfully, I caught this before it was too big of an issue to fix. I'm just going to crochet all of my little ends that are sticking out. I don't know what quite went on here, but thankfully, oh, you see what happened? It came untied. So that's a decent patch. I'm going to unfold this, tuck that tail in there. That is from a knot. Okay. So I'm going to reach my crochet hook in, pull this tail in here. And then this that was just on my hook, what I'm going to do is cut it and then tie it in a little knot. So we'll pull and see what's going on. Yeah, I try to be real with you guys, and when I do have a mistake, I do my best to fix it on camera just to help you out, because maybe you guys will have the same mistake too, I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> I'm just going to tie that. Take my crochet hook and pull it inside the hat. Whoa, 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 stay in there. Well, it's not too bad. Now all I have left from that is just a little gray speck that's not where it's supposed to be. See, that's really, that right here is really all that's left from my little mishap. <laughs> so now back to our regularly scheduled programming. I am going to finish closing up this hat and I'll be back. So here's what I ended up with. Um, I must say I'm not really happy with the top. I think what I should have done is stop doing fair aisle with this and just did this solid. But other than that, I think it's super cute. What do you guys think? What color should I do next? Anyway, I'm going to make a pom-pom and put it on here and go from there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, happy crafting. And may all of your hats be full of hearts. <laughs>